Hello everyone, I thought I'd do a very quick video because you're not going to be seeing this again, I doubt. I'm not very happy, not a happy bunny. Now obviously you know if you've watched my channel for a while that sometimes I buy a vacuum cleaner that from eBay mainly that's not quite as described but if you're buying from private sellers you take that risk but when you're buying from a so-called reputable company like Argos and if you live in the UK you'll certainly have heard of Argos so I bought this shark and this is a IR70 UK cordless vacuum so I bought this from Argos outlet on eBay so it's official Argos outlet it was described as brand new and it wasn't cheap cheap but it was cheaper than it would have been in the shop it was about 127 pounds so it's new so I thought well I've wanted to try this particular type of shark and I'll show you why it's a little bit different I wanted this one I saw the last one on Argos and thought well I'll, I'll have that so when it was delivered about an hour ago and I've, all, I've been all over social media dis dissing Argos I'm not blaming shark it's nothing to do with them it's Argos and I'm sure a lot of you watching will have had problems with Argos. Anyway, it was it was sealed up, resealed here, looking quite tatty. So as soon as I took this into my home, I thought, hmm, that doesn't look too good. And obviously when I opened it, first thing I pulled out was the cleaner, which wasn't wrapped up. It should have been in a bag. And of course, well, it didn't have the battery pack in, but what it did have inside it, can we see now look this hasn't had much use I don't care though whether it's had five minutes use or five hours use or five weeks use it's not had five weeks use but it's certainly been used you know I don't really want I don't mind getting somebody else's dirt if it's a vintage vacuum but when I'm buying a brand new vacuum from a reputable de uh, retailer I don't expect to get a used one so obviously the next thing I I saw the dirt in the bin the next thing I thought I'd check and it's a little bit scuffed on the top the filter so there you go and of course inside here look it's dusty so I think that filters never been washed so that it you you know these shark filters do get dirty fairly quickly you know that if you've watched my channel so that is it's it's the original filter it's not been washed so it's not had loads of use but it doesn't matter I'm returning this that's why I'm showing it now um, I don't know whether I'll be able to get another one dust in there I think this is possibly an exclusive model to Argos because I've never seen it anywhere else and I could have I tried to get it last year when it went in Argos clearance direct from the you know the Argos catalog in their shops but there wasn't any in my available uh, any <laughs> there wasn't any in my area available so when I saw this one popping up I thought oh well I, I've, I've wanted one now the reason I wanted to try it now the main unit itself I think is more or less the same it lacks a few of the niceties of the um, mo mo main range because it doesn't have sort of well it just looks a bit plainer you know what I mean but I think the main unit is more or less what you would get similar to the shark I I recently unboxed and I've, I've bought for my mum so you know it's got the same controls and everything all that palaver so I think you know it's just a, a sort of a budgety priced version I think oh I haven't looked at the exhaust filter see that's not bad so look it's not had much use it's a shame I mean out of principle I'm returning it I really wanted to keep it but there was no option of, of getting a partial refund because I could have cleaned this up buffed it up and I probably could have made it look new but out of principle I'm returning it and I have to take it to a post office they won't collect it from my house I don't drive so it means a special trip to the post office with a fairly large box I've printed off a returns label but I thought I would rant to you my viewers now this probably isn't used this part you get the dusting brush you get 
and that looks unused you get the upholstery nozzle and obviously look that's not how shark pack those in the factory is it like that um, and that's the brush attachment so those are those seem unused the battery was in the box but again look it's so Argos if anyone from Argos is watching this has clearly happened to other people because I'm sure there are many people that have bought new products from Argos and found they've been given a used product. So whatever is happening at Argos's returns department, there's somebody not doing their job. But then, you know, who could blame them? I bet they're only on minimum wage. Here's the um, Dubri Flexology. So it does have the Flexology head, you know, the wand, I mean. I'm getting all my words wrong. I'm not used to uh, <laughs> complaining. Oh no, don't do that, Roger. It looks a bit naughty. Um, <laughs> I can laugh about it now, but uh, I'm disappointed because, you know, if, if this could have been replaced, if they had another one, fine. Inconvenient, but I'd have got over it. Obviously, look, this is what they call a, th a first world problem. There are many other problems in this world, far, far greater than receiving a used vacuum sold as new. But in my world, it's it's a big deal, you know, in my little bubble. <laughs> so, and again, looking on here, it's not too bad. I like the look of this brush roll, though. Now, the reason I wanted to try this, apart from the fact that it's got somebody else's hairs around it, and it doesn't look like you can, yeah, see, this is a much more basic, cleaner head. Ooh. Thought it was making, not. I can see dust inside there too. I don't know if you can. So this is more basic clean head. It doesn't have the duo clean brush roll, which all the other shark cordless cleaners have, whether they be the stick type or the powered lift away type cordless. Um, this brush is fairly soft and it's got lots and lots of brushes on. So it's a different style of brush roll to the one you get with the duo clean models. And I, I thought I'd like to try it. Um, but you know there we go I, i'm not i'm not keeping it it would have been good to do a demo on this to see how how it differs because sometimes i think certainly with the mains powered shark uprights i think the ones without the duo clean brush roll at the front do clean carpets better that's what i found in my experience but if you've got hard floors the duo brush roll is fantastic on our hard floors for picking up large particles and the fine dust and it, I think it performs better than the uprights without it but if you've got mainly carpets in your home and you possibly only sweep your floors you don't really use your vacuum on your hard floors then personally I would go for a shark without the duo clean that's just my experience of using many many sharks so that's why I wanted to try this you probably if you're watching in the USA you've probably got a similar model to this um, with this basic head but you know I can buy all these parts that's another thing I could have done that if I went on Shark's website I believe I can buy all these parts individually I can buy this unit I can buy this suction unit I can buy the wand so I could make one up it probably cost me more than 127 pounds to buy all the bits but anyway there we go I thought I'd just make a quick video let's just check that this goes in and works so why was it returned Ah, that's quite stiff. Now it should only work. Right, let's turn it on. Oh. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. I thought it was working before. Hang on. Right, so that's probably why they returned it then, because the head is faulty. It 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 doesn't it doesn't seem to stay on all the time. Now I'm wondering if it goes on on the hard floor mode. I wonder if it goes at a slower speed. I would have would have thought so. Yeah, well, it does when it works. It does run at a slower speed for hard floors. And I think this would be a good all-purpose um, agitator brush roll. 
because it's fairly soft and dense. So I think it'll be okay on hard floors as well without the duo clean. But yes, it's faulty. It, it seems to have a loose connection somewhere because it won't stay on. Um, obviously it won't turn on when it's in that position. It shouldn't do anyway. Yeah, I was half thinking, oh, shall I just clean it up and keep it? But now I've now I've realised. Oh, and that's another thing that uh, is a little bit different. It doesn't have the foot operated release to take the wand out. So you do have to, it's got the this wand release. But yes, it's uh, obviously not working correctly, which is why it was returned. And that, that is very difficult to put in. What a shame. Just try it. Just try it once more. Doesn't matter if we use it a bit because it's clearly used anyway. <sighs> right, hang on. Let's see if it goes. It's temperamental, so it's not it's not right. So I'm not going to keep it. Uh, ooh, <laughs> it has picked up a fair bit, actually. Well, there was some dirt in here, obviously, before, but there's a little bit more dirt than there was. So that's a shame. So there we go. Just a very quick moan video for you. I thought I might as well. I've moaned about Argos on my Instagram account, on my Facebook and my Twitter, so I thought we'll do the full the full uh, social media and do it on YouTube as well. So thumbs down to Argos. Thanks a lot. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for sending me a used faulty vacuum described as brand new. As soon as I can, I'll be leaving you negative feedback on eBay. I'm sorry if you've not liked me ranting, but it's my hard earned money. And if I don't get what I've purchased, I'm not happy and neither should you be. Don't settle for second best. See you all very soon. And uh, if you've got any comments or questions about this cleaner or Argos, comment below. And uh, I'll be here for the next video in a couple of days time. Bye for now.